Hello folks, welcome to the demonstration video number 18 of my eShop project. In this video, I'm gonna explain about the UI design of our advanced product search page. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, we are currently on the home page of our eShop. To access the advanced search page, we have to click here. So now I'm clicking that as you can see. Alright, now we are on our advanced search page. You can see our familiar eShop header section here like this. Then on the bottom you can see our familiar footer section here like this. This section is showing our standard eShop logo and our page title as advanced search. You can see a search bar here like this. We can use this to search products using various keywords. Look it says type keywords to search for goods. Then this blue button here is the search button. We can search by product category using this drop down menu. We can search by brand using this drop down menu. Then we can search by model using this drop down menu. We can search by product condition using this drop down menu. We can search by product color using this drop down menu. Then we can sort products in a specified price range using these two fields. This field is here to enter the lowest value of the range. This field is here to enter the highest value of the range. Then we can sort products further using the options in this drop down menu. We can sort them price high to low, price low to high, quantity high to low, quantity low to high. Since we didn't search for any product yet, this place is showing you haven't searched for anything yet. Then this place is showing a magnifying glass icon like this. We are using an icon that was provided by Bootstrap for this. Let's see the responsiveness of our page to larger and smaller display resolutions. I am currently viewing this page on a device with a larger display resolution. So this is the view that we get. Let's see the view of our page on a smaller display resolution. Alright, as you can see now it has a more compact view to fit on that smaller display resolution. Let's see the code of this page. So now I am going to the Visual Studio code. As you can see we are currently on advancedsearch.php file. To keep this running in the state, it should be I am linking some other files inside of it. Inside these head tags, I am linking bootstrap.css, then bootstrap icons.css, then our own style.css file. Then by the bottom of the body tags, I am linking bootstrap bundle.js file, then our own script.js file. Inside of this PHP script, I am including our header part.php file like this. Then inside of this PHP script, I am including our footer section.php file like this. As you can see, there are many bootstrap classes inside of this design. Reason for this is we are almost completely making this design with the help of bootstrap CSS framework. We are setting the color of our page body section like this. These codes are setting our eShop logo into the correct place. Then these are the codes of our page title advanced search. Then these are the codes of product search bar. Inside of that input field, there is a placeholder as type keywords to search for goods. Then these are the codes of our search button. Then these are the codes of select product category drop down menu. We are loading drop down menu options from our database using this search query. Then we are setting drop down menu options using these codes here. These are the codes of select brand drop down menu. We are loading drop down menu options from our database using this search query. Then we are setting drop down menu options using these codes here. These are the codes of select model drop down menu. 
we are loading drop down menu options from our database using the search query. Then we are setting drop down menu options using these codes here. These are the codes of select condition drop down menu. We are loading drop down menu options from our database using the search query. Then we are setting drop down menu options using these codes here. Then these are the codes of select product color drop down menu. We are loading drop down menu options from our database using the search query. Then we are setting drop down menu options using these codes here. Then these are the codes of price range setting input fields. Then these are the codes of sort by drop down menu. We are setting our drop down menu options here like this. Then finally these are the codes of search results showing section. So folks that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.